Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean fish. Because I'm seeing some crazy things when it comes to fish. So we need to make sure that fish is cleaned very well. So it doesn't taste like it just came out of the sea. And you just eat it just like that. Okay, let's dispose of this. It's hard for me guys to uh, make the video in the sink. <laughs> it's a small, small place, but we're gonna make it work for you. Okay, so the very first thing that you do is you scale, you scale, even if they've already scaled the fish, see, as you can tell, there's still scales on there, so you need to definitely go and rescale, remove all the scale from the fish, especially the hidden part. Oh, yeah, that's why I mean, many people don't like to eat fish, because they don't want to clean it, because it's a tedious job, okay, so I'm going to do that all over the fish and I remove these myself these are by the way they're pink snappers kind of like hard to get the angle because I'm so uncomfortable right now but we're gonna make it work. See I need a scissors, a pair of scissors. I need to replace my scissors. Okay. And you have to go the opposite of the scale. So the fish scale go this way, when you are cleaning it, you go this way, okay? So you can get all the scales out. Okay? Then, of course, we need to go inside of the fish. Before I go inside of the fish, I'm gonna cut the head. I had told the man to remove the head. I guess he didn't understand me, but that's fine. I can do it myself. I removed the head just because you know some American they some American folks they get scared when they see the head. So I cook the head separate, not separately, but I I don't serve it unless I know people are okay with the head. See, let me tell you, you need scissors, people. You need scissors in your kitchen. I don't want to cut myself in this whole process. Okay. So see the inside of it? You need to remove everything that's not, that doesn't look good, that looks like it doesn't belong in there. So that's the stomach, you need to remove that. So this is, by the way, this is the little pee, -pee for the fish. All right. I'm removing everything from there. Oh, my knife is shy. Oh my, my knife is sharp. I said, oh my God, I stretched the words. I mean, issues, man. Let me let this running on very low. And just remember, after you're done cleaning fish, you have to clean everything you touch, people. Everything. With lime, some Clorox, and things like that. Not too for the fish, but for the items that you use to clean your fish. Okay. Then I'm going to do that for all the fish. Okay. 
and for the head actually you do eat these but I just As for the head, you remove everything that looks like it doesn't belong just like you would. You did the belly. I personally, I know not many people do that. I personally remove the gills. Not, is that the gills? I think so. all the way to the throat ah, the pair of scissors will be so much easier and some people do remove the, the mouth so I'm going to remove the mouth I personally do not want the mouth Ooh. This spirit, this thing is sharp. I'm scared of. Okay, let me remove the mouth for you guys. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It is so hard. Because it has bones in it. I wanted to break my knife. Really doesn't want to come off. I don't cut myself, man. Okay, so I move the mouth. So this is how I keep mine. I love to eat the eyes, so <laughs> I suck the life out of the, the eyes. You see, you have to okay, and I'm gonna do that for all all the fish, and then we'll take it. From there, and I'll show you the next step to cleaning your fish. I forgot to show you guys. See, the inside of the mouth, you also remove it. Okay? You remove it as well. So now that I'm done scaling and removing any unneeded stuff from my fish, I'm going to take some salt, pour all over it, just like when I clean my meat, okay? And I'm going to use some limes to clean it up. So of course, we're making fish, we're going to need to season it, so I'm going to need some of that lime juice to season my fish, okay, and then the rest will be for me to clean the fish with. So when it comes to fish, you really have to season it. Get out!
you go inside all the crevices all over the fish all over it and I'll even take a little bit of salt and I'll put on the inside where the blood is I want to make sure when I cook this fish it's not going to stink up the house it's going to give a nice citrusy flavor you can tell when a fish is thoroughly clean because it has a different smell so this is practically all I do to my fish then I rinse it Okay guys, so whenever you're cooking fish, make sure all the surfaces that you touch, that you clean it with some Clorox and some lime and things like that. And do not flush the guts of the fish in your sink. And also take your trash out immediately after you are done. Because you don't want your house to be stinky and, and, and look unclean. clean.